The computer industry likes to present itself as the most powerful in the world, a constant battle between innovative titans. Once a year, everyone who's anyone converges on Las Vegas. But is it to hear inspiring speeches and launch fantastic new products, or just to drink free beer and party? Rupert Goodwin's offered to show the net his personal experience of the excess that is Comdex. It's been 25 years since Hunter S. Thompson wrote Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas, and it's been 25 years since the invention of the microprocessor. These two events don't have much in common, apart from a happy birthday, and, uh, oh yes, Comdex. Comdex is a huge computer show in Las Vegas. It's uh, Comdex short for Computer Distributors Exposition. And it started uh, in the early 80s just as uh, a way for people who sell computers to get together and discuss how to sell more. And since then, the entire computing industry, including those who make them and those who program them, have put in on the act. And now it's some 200,000 people spread across five or six different sites. People think of computers as being logical, cold things that uh, always make sense, and Vegas makes no sense, it's a complete fantasy town. And the mixture of the two is really uh, very bizarre indeed. If you go down to uh, Caesar's Palace and walk along the Appian Way and to the row of shops, which is a microcosm, uh, the, the roof is painted like the sky and the lights change to reflect a day in about half an hour, and you lose all sense of, uh, of reality. And the, the, that your senses are bombarded with all these, these images. And uh, Comdex reflects that, it has to. There's no point in being here and being understated because you just vanish. So all the stands get painted very brightly, the lights are very bright and they're very noisy and uh, all the people from the CEO down to the, uh, the, the smallest sales assistant dress in the same sort of garish company t-shirts with the company logo and some sort of horrific slogan painted across the back. And they're all bouncy and happy and very pleased to see you. Uh, it's slightly distressing after a while, but you've got to be like that to have any chance of surviving in a town that's quite as insane as Vegas. Comdex crystallises the way the industry actually is. So Microsoft has a huge stand with hundreds of companies under its wings who have brought into the empire and uh, accepted the uh, protection of Emperor Gates in return for uh, uh, paying their, their dues into uh, supporting the company and uh, smiling when the cameras look at them. The Federal Trade Commission have agreed to reopen the investigation into whether Microsoft has a monopoly position in the software industry for the third time. And if they're here today, they might in fact wonder whether to incorporate the company as the 51st state of America. It's fun to see every year how elaborate Comdex has become. It's fantastic how people uh, try to draw attention to their booths and do the most amazing well, We've come all the way out to the Atlantean Casino to uh, hear Bill Gates tell us what a wonderful thing Microsoft is. But uh, due to road work, we're five minutes late, and the auditorium is full, the listening room is full, and the overflow room is full. And we've been told to go back to the hotel room and listen to it on, broadcast on the internet. And we also just go home and listen to it on the internet. I can't really see the point. And other companies would like to be as big as Microsoft. They have big stands which are strangely quiet. Welcome to the comparative sanity of the Apple stand. This is Apple's biggest stand ever at Comdex, uh, which is not unconnected to the fact that they're having some of their toughest times. And they really need to say, hey, look at us, we're still really important. The internet's everywhere, and it's, it's Comdex is an almost more an internet show now than it is a computer show. Everybody's on the internet, every stand, every company has an internet aspect. Core software still Microsoft, looks like it always will be. We're just waiting to see which of the internet companies survives and prospers, and which ones fall by the wayside. The parties. This, of course, is the real reason for people go to Comdex. Most of them are sponsored by a company, so you end up uh, not paying for your food and your drink, which is nice. Oh, great, popcorn. Oh, nice, it's complete. And this is the, uh, the Eurus Robotics Monday Night Football Party, just Eurus Robotics and the, a few of their close personal friends, about ooh, two or three thousand of uh, US computer nerds and their wives, and of course some of those wives are nerds too. Just drinking beer, eating hamburgers and uh, watching the football. 
Vegas hosts a number of conventions, but Comdex has a special place in the town's heart. It really doesn't like it very much, because computer people aren't like other people. When you have 200,000 of them in a the place, they, they don't gamble. Computer people just don't put money into machines or, or spend time on the tables. Nobody's quite sure why, and uh, given that they're happiness for gambling with the company's money, but in this case it doesn't work. There's no word to describe the queues, you just have to put up with them. If you want to go into a restaurant or you want to get a taxi, you just have to stand in line, as Americans call it, for half an hour. So you stand there next to some huge bloke from Alabama and the Taiwanese talking animatedly about some database package. And you shuffle forward slowly and you watch the sun go down, which does very quickly. Towards the end it all gets a bit much and people do suffer from burnout. Oh.